Hey guys! Welcome to part 3 of turning 5 Mystery Islands into Tarantula Island. If you haven't seen parts 1 and 2 yet, make sure to check those out here. So now that it's May, tarantulas don't actually spawn anymore. However, the new scorpions that spawn after 7pm work exactly the same way. My sister actually tried this out and she was able to spawn scorpions on a mystery island. So firstly in today's video, we are going to go to our last two islands, islands 4 and 5, and and as I mentioned in part two, we do find some tarantulas. So that's really exciting. And then afterwards, I am going to give a summary about our five islands that we went to, as well as talk about some offline islands that I went to to give a little bit of more backing, maybe a few more theories of mine, and yes. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Hey guys, so I am on island number three. I just realized I wasn't recording for whatever reason. <laughs> so we're on island number four. Did I say three? But we're on four, okay? We're on island number four. It is a different island from one that we've been on before. And I was just saying how I think going to four different islands is already a success because we have tested out three so far, this is gonna be our fourth. And so we're gonna just learn more about which islands are going to be helpful or not in looking for tarantulas. That way you guys don't have to try this on your own and you'll just know which islands you can convert and which ones you can't. One thing I may have forgotten to mention earlier is also that it does need to be after 7 p.m. local time. That's when tarantulas pop up. So they show up between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. So I don't know if you're a night bird, a night bird, a night owl, <laughs> and you stay up that late, but you can, you can keep searching through the night. It's already almost 11 p.m. for me, and we started a little after nine, so it's already been about two hours, but that's still not bad. In total, depends if we see tarantulas, I think this could take like four hours or so. So traveling really does take quite a bit of time, and then just doing all this preparation, if you are trying to hunt for tarantulas, the preparation can take a lot of time but I'm doing this experiment so you guys know so far that these islands don't spawn tarantulas. Hopefully this one does. Um, We'll find out in just a bit. And just another random tip here. The reason why I shake the trees with my net in front of the tree is because it's actually a better angle to be in in order to catch wasps if they do fall out. Kind of wherever it lands as long as it's in front of the tree, you will be able to catch that wasp. So everything is clear now. So far, I don't see any tarantulas. I'm just checking these um, top layers real quick. Okay, so here we see a tiger beetle. Tiger beetles are worth a decent amount. Um, but they're just not as good as tarantulas. So I, I scared him away. They are a little bit hard to catch. It looks like there's another tiger beetle here. So we're gonna try to sneak up on him. There we go. There are some wharf roaches. Those just, you know, they're not worth very much. So we're gonna scare those away. Just because I saw a tiger beetle, I am hopeful that there could be tarantulas that spawn. Here it looks like there's just a whole lot of tiger beetles. We are not seeing any tarantulas right now. It looks like there's a lot- oh! <gasps> Ooh! Okay, guys, there is a tarantula over here. Now let me show you how this works. They are pretty sensitive to how close you are. So like, we're gonna- oh, he can see me already. So once they go up on their legs like that, you want to stop. I try to go in bunches, and now let's just sneak up. I think we're close enough, and we got them. Okay, you wanna make sure you are close enough because if you miss, they're gonna jump at you, 
and then that takes up a lot of time you like you knock out you wake up at the dock wilbur gives you this whole like lecture and then and then you have to go adventure out again so it's looking good for this island remember the layout there's you know one big waterfall in the middle when you walk in it is two level so you know what i heard before was that it wouldn't work on a two level but it seems to work here i'm gonna catch these tiger beetles anyways i don't think it's gonna be that easy to find tarantulas here especially because there's a river you're gonna have to jump over the river there's a second story so you are gonna have to sometimes go up to the second story and yeah so I'm just gonna catch you know what I can tiger beetles water bugs those are still good and tarantulas now I do actually I am holding a lot of extra stuff something you might want to do with all your extra stuff is just drop them off somewhere like on the beach somewhere which I'm actually gonna do right now now that we know these bugs spawn here I'm just gonna drop anything that I don't need right now wasps are worth a good amount so I would keep the wasp and then yeah so we're gonna catch tiger beetles water bugs and hopefully some more tarantulas There's a tarantula. This island, I'm gonna say, is like really successful. It's actually not that bad. I'm surprised that tarantula did not run at me. I did not wait for him to get back off of his hind legs, but he didn't attack me. So that was kind of interesting. I have... <gasps> I'm full, oh, okay. So, you know, as we're leaving, do a last check. And yeah, so that was really good. The spawn rate was decent. We got eight tarantulas out of my whole inventory. Let's go back home, see how much we made. I wanna say, I hope I make 100K. Let's go find Flick. There you are, and I believe Flick will stay until 5 a.m. Flick is gonna be so excited to see all of these bugs. Okay, let's hope for at least 100K. <gasps> wow, it's over 150K. That is dang good i would say that's pretty worth it like before we move on i am gonna reset my inventory and then we will go to our final last fifth mystery island and see what we can do there 
So island number five was unsuccessful. I'm not going to go through the whole thing just to save time. I'm just gonna show some footage so that you guys can see what it looks like. Now for the summary, we went to five mystery islands and they all happen to be different. I'm also going to add in a few islands that I had visited while not recording. So revisiting island number one, island number one was three levels. It had lots of waterfalls. There was a waterfall on the left, on the right, one in the center, and then another one on the second level in the center. And that one did not have any tarantulas. And one of my theories actually that I wanted to mention is I'm pretty sure it's the same for everyone where you have your native flower that you can see on Mystery Islands as well as a secondary flower. My native flowers are lilies and my secondary flowers are hyacinths. And something I have kind of noticed is tarantulas wouldn't spawn on islands with my secondary flower. I don't know if this is true, that's just from my experience. And so island one, it did have hyacinths. So I'm not sure if that was the reason or if it was the island that was the reason. I do remember there not being very many bug spawns on that island, so it could just be the low rate of spawning. On island number two, we found Money Island. And so Money Island is a single level. It has like a second smaller island in the center, just with a bunch of rocks. And so I kind of expected that Money Island wouldn't have bugs on it just because it's already a special island. And so I figured they probably wouldn't spawn very many things other than having the money rocks and then of course some bugs came out of the rocks. But other than that, we did not find any bugs at all on Money Island. Then we have island number three. So this island I call the upside down smiley face island. It's a two level island, single level, and then the second levels on the left, there's like a small second level circle on the left. And then on the right, another small little circle. Then there's like a river through the center that kind of goes out to the left. And then there's another second level section that kind of curves like, like a frown if you're looking at it. But then if you use the two, it looks like a smiley face. Kind of. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, that island, it did have our native flower on it, but it only really spawned giant water bugs and it spawned a good amount of giant water bugs. Um, so I think that island just doesn't have ground bugs spawning. Yeah, so then we're going to island number four, which we saw in this video. Island number four is a two level island. The single level, then there's a second level with a waterfall coming down through the center, and then the river flows out to the right. So this island I've actually been to a lot, and I've been able to turn this island into tarantula island or spawn tarantulas on this island many times. The only time that I couldn't, and this is how my theory came about, is when the island had hyacinths on it, I was not able to spawn tarantulas. And I have been trying to track the islands that I've been to and what types of flowers they have. Um, all the ones that I've been to that had hyacinths did not spawn tarantulas. So one island that I've been to a couple times now is the spiral island. So it looks like a spiral, like the land spiral, and then in between that spiral is the river. So it spirals through to the center. It is also a single level island. I have tried that island twice to spawn tarantulas and the time that it had native flowers, it did work. And then the time that it had hyacinths, it did not. It only spawned giant water bugs. Then of course we have our island number five. So island number five does have hyacinths. So that could be the reason why it didn't spawn tarantulas. Um, but this one is a two level island. It has a small second level in the back with a waterfall that flows down facing left. And then it has a river flowing through kind of the whole island that exits to the right. And so I believe my sister tried on this island as well. I don't know what type of flower she had on her island, but she also was not able to spawn tarantulas 
on that island. So another island that was not in this experiment is Bamboo Island, which I mentioned before. So Bamboo Island is a single level. It has bamboo. It'll be pretty obvious. And this island I was able to spawn tarantulas on. I believe I had native flowers on that island, but Bamboo Island worked really well. The other thing that I've noticed, and I mentioned it earlier on, is that if you do see tiger beetles, that's a really good sign that you could see tarantulas or scorpions. <laughs> and that's because they're also ground spawning bugs. So if you see one, you're more likely to see the other because then you know that that island does spawn ground bugs. So one other island that I've been to that was successful, it's a three level island. It has a very large second level and then the top floor just has all the rocks and flowers on it. So this island, I was actually to able to spawn tarantulas and actually I was able to spawn a lot of the bugs. So I was able to spawn water bugs, tarantulas, tiger beetles, wharf roaches, all those things. And the spawn rate was pretty good. Again, that one had my native flower lilies. And so I think that also helps. But yeah, so those are my findings. One, probably it needs to have your native flowers on there. Two, if you see tiger beetles, that's probably a good sign. And three, just go back through those islands that I mentioned, but the ones that I found successful include Bamboo Island, Spiral Island, although not ideal because it's kind of hard to navigate. Three, obviously our island number four layout was really good, and I've done this most on that island, and it works really good. The island with a single waterfall down the center, and then the river flowing to the right. And then the last one that I was successful in is the three level with the third top level having rocks and flowers. So definitely try those ones out. If you guys have noticed any other islands or other indicators that tarantulas can spawn on certain islands or scorpions, I keep forgetting to say <laughs> because um, yeah, my sister tried this out the other day in May and she was able to spawn scorpions actually on Orange Island. I don't know if the only island you can find that has a non-native fruit is oranges. I don't know, like my starting fruit was apples and hers was pears. So I kind of expected her to be able to find different fruit islands, but we both see orange islands. So I don't know what that's all about. Like does the person that starts with oranges, can they find a different orange island? But anyways, <laughs> I digress. She was able to spawn scorpions on Orange Island. So let me know in the comments down below what you think, if this was successful for you, what island was it? What kind of flowers did they have? Let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little series of trying to find tarantulas on mystery islands. If you have any other suggestions for content, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be notified when I post another video. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye!